what is up today is moving day so i'm gonna me and a buddy been camped here in the forest near the pine where descend on bend is being held and descend on bend officially has check-ins tomorrow so rather than wait till tomorrow to head over there i'm gonna go a day early to the pine do laundry top off all my fuel clean this place up this place has become a, a slowly a cluttered up mess so we're gonna clean it up and maybe I'll try to see if I can get up to the gym or uh, later today I, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen heard back from Zamp Solar and the folks down there are have set an appointment for me to come down on Tuesday when their uh, CFO is gonna be back in town and we're gonna have a tour of the solar manufacturing plant so super stoked about that Nothing left to do now but make a cup of coffee and start getting this thing all packed up. If you can sew and want to bring your sewing machine and <clears throat> equipment down to the van build, please go to enigmaticnomadics at gmail.com and let me know your name, phone number, and your sewing skill history. Even, I was thinking, if we could do a a sewing uh, class, because I was thinking about getting a sewing machine at one point, but I don't know how to put it in those in that thing and make it work right and everything. So I, we don't have classes at the van build, but it's very possible we could start because I know that Keith is bringing a stick welder. And I want to learn how to weld, so he's going to teach me. He's going to give me a class. And somebody else in the comments said that they wanted to learn how to weld. So that's two people. And so there's welding we could do a class on. Sewing we could do a class on. Anything else that you guys want to know. We could do a class on solar. But solar, it's easy to get into the uh, weeds on. And so we'll see about that.
I'm here at this, it's like a truck, truck gas station, kind of like a pilot or a loves. It's a mobile in this case. And I saw some RVs back here and I think I'm pretty close to where the Descend on Ben location is. So I don't want to go out to a snow park, you know, 15 miles out to only come 15 miles back in, uh, you know, 12, 15 hours. So I came back here to park for the night and clean up the rig, basically fold the clothes that I just washed and put everything up and maybe vacuum, just, just clean up the rig. I've been going out to uh, bend almost every day on the motorcycle for the last at least week and so I've let things go as far as keeping this place tidy plus when you cram everything in to pack to go someplace I call it kind of a stash and dash where you throw everything in so I need to make a place for things and clean up a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and do that but I saw the rigs back here you know other campers and I thought mm, maybe there's some people that are kind of staging their vehicles for descend on bend here also <clears throat> and then when I got closer it looks like people are actually living here which I think is kind of a sad thing it's kind of a sad thing for everyone because you don't want people living in a big truck stop parking lot it's only a matter of time before you know there's black water on the ground or something happens and they all get cleared out and then where are they going to go and what happened to their lives to where it's come down to I now live in this parking lot so anyway I'm just going to be here for the night it's no big deal <laughs>